Hey Joe, it's folks here. Do you want to see an awesome print-on-demand product? One that I bet you probably didn't know existed. If so, cool, because today I got one for you. And if you want to see some of the other products that I recommend, make sure to check out some of my other videos. Drop a like on this video for good luck. And if you want to go through my step-by-step print-on-demand course, there's a link down in the description. It is completely free. All right, Joe, it's folks here again. And this is the product that we are going to look at today. This is a print-on-demand golf ball. If you didn't know these existed, let me know down in the comments below. And if you already did know that they existed, let me know that as well. What we're gonna do today is I'm gonna break down the quality of this print-on-demand product. We'll talk about which supplier you can get this from. We'll talk about the profitability of it. And I will give you eight print-on-demand business ideas that you can try with this product. So the supplier you can get these from is the Printify app. Printify is going to connect you to MIA Merchandise, which is the vendor for this print-on-demand product. Special shout out to Printify for sending this over to me to review. Like I said, today we're going to be breaking this down. We're going to talk about the quality of this golf ball, the print quality on here, and more importantly, like I said before, I'm going to share with you eight print-on-demand business ideas that you could use to sell this product. This product comes in a pack of six, so when you upload your design, that one design will go on all six of the golf balls. You can see here under the key features section that it says it is made from Surlin, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that, and says this is the standard material for the golf ball print-on-demand product. Now, when I'm holding this golf ball, it feels like every golf ball I've ever held, and not that I'm a massive golfer or anything like that, but I've definitely held a few golf balls. Printify also has some really awesome mock-ups for us. You can see this one here that looks like it's on top of a putting green, and then they have this one here, which gives a really nice close-up of the design. They also have another one here that sort of is a little bit morbid. They've actually cut the golf ball in half. Then they have a standard one here showing another close-up of the design. Now, the key thing here is obviously going to be how much money can we actually make selling this product. You can see here that they've listed this product at $19.03. However, if you have a Printify premium account, you're going to get this product for just $14.66. If you want to get a free month of Printify premium, make sure to enter the code NINJA50, N-I-N-J-A-5-0. That will get you a free month of Printify premium and will save you 20% on all of your products through the Printify app. Shipping on this product is going to cost us $12.19, which means that if we have a Printify Premium account, we're going to have about $26 in charges when selling this product. Because this product does have a high shipping cost of $12, I would recommend you to charge your customers for the shipping. Now, maybe you don't charge them for the entire thing. Maybe you just charge them a flat rate of $5.95 or something like that. Basically, what I'm saying is charge them something to offset some of that cost and protect some of your profit margins. When we are selling a product like this, where the margins might not be that big, it is going to be very important for us to protect them at all costs. So let's talk quality. What I want to do is take this outside and bounce it on the ground. Just to show you guys that this golf ball is legitimate. This golf ball is your typical golf ball. There is nothing weird about this. It's not a knockoff or anything like that. This is a typical golf ball product. Now, obviously, most people watching this video might be concerned that the golf ball doesn't have enough profit margin to actually begin to make sales with. Like I showed you before, through the Printify app, if you have a Printify premium account, you are going to be charged about $14 for this product, which means if you're selling a six pack of golf balls you're going to have to sell them for more than $14 if you want to actually make a profit. And that is where, like I said, the eight business ideas that I have come into play. In a few minutes, I'm going to share them with you. So the print-on-demand business idea that I have centers upon personalizing these golf balls. Basically what I mean is I have eight different ideas where a buyer can come to your store and personalize the golf ball with something. In order to see if this business model actually has any legs, what I did is I went on Google and found this. I typed in personalized golf balls and I was able to find on Titleist com a place where they allow people to actually personalize their golf balls. Now, Titleist is obviously like the nice
Nike of the golf world. This is a very high-end golf ball. We're going to be trying to do our best here to make a comparison to a print-on-demand golf ball from the Printify app. You can see here inside of the Titleist app, they are allowing personalization. Now, if we want to do uh, personalization that they classify as single, it's going to cost us $5. I'm not sure what it means if I click on double. You can see right here uh, that I've uh, got single selected and we're at $56 uh, in a total cost for these golf balls. And this is going to be $50 for the dozen plus the $5 for the single. Uh, if I click double, I'm not sure what happens. It looks like I can have two different sides of text personalization for uh, a total of $61, which I imagine would be a price a lot of people might be willing to pay in order to get their personalized golf ball set from the Titleist website. Of course, when we're doing a print on demand version of this, we're going to want to come up with a really cool idea for people to be able to personalize the golf balls with rather than just typical standard text like what you're seeing on these golf balls. And we're going to really want to make sure that we are branding our site so that way we can charge an appropriate amount in order to actually be profitable with this product. Are you ready for our eight business ideas to use for this product here, the golf ball? The first one is right here. This is a store that I featured here on the channel recently. They are allowing people to upload photos to their socks. And with this one here, you can see that the design says number one dad. Essentially, the idea here would be to allow someone to create a golf ball with that same design. Now, you're probably wondering, about profitability of this. Something like this on a pair of socks is selling with three different faces up to $36. Now, obviously with something like this, we would want to just do one face. This is a pair of socks for $24. My opinion is you could probably sell the golf balls for more than that. Business idea number two is creating essentially custom pet golf balls. It works with socks. Maybe it could work with golf balls as well. Idea number three and four is all about personal branding. Maybe you sell your product to people based on them uploading their name. That's business idea number three. Or maybe they have a business and you allow them to upload the logo for their company. That is business idea number four. Another idea for a print on demand product like this would be some sort of a item that would be used to announce something. When it comes to selling print on demand products, sometimes what's important is coming up with a unique way to create a design to represent something and get someone to actually buy it. What I'm talking about about is allowing someone to do something like this, where here we have a print-on-demand necklace with the ultrasound photo of a baby on it. And it says, only the best mums get promoted to grand mom. This is a product that someone would buy when they are announcing the fact that they are having a baby. Essentially what I'm saying is, why not do the same exact thing with this golf ball? That could be a really cool business idea where you are allowing someone to put the ultrasound on this golf ball and then use it to announce that they are pregnant. The only weird thing would be people would then use a golf club and hit the golf ball and hit the picture of the ultrasound. You could also do something like this, where you use the golf ball to announce the gender of a baby. This is a very common thing for people to do when they are pregnant. They announce whether they're having a boy or a girl and doing something with a golf ball to announce that could be a cool way to actually have someone announce the gender of their baby. Now, earlier I talked about announcing things via a print-on-demand product, but what about asking somebody a question? The idea that I'm about to show you is one that I don't know if I recommend, but it could be something that actually sells. So what I'm talking about is something like this. This is a print-on-demand product where someone is using it to actually ask someone else to marry them. So the business idea here would be to do something like that on the golf balls, where you are actually asking somebody to be your husband or to be your wife. Our eighth and final business idea is right here. Essentially with birthdays, there is a massive trend where people create designs that just say vintage and then a year, essentially creating something for someone who was born in that year, right? Or even doing something where it says like 50 and never felt better. You could do something similar with that concept on these golf balls. If you were paying attention, all of these ideas today were 
or all personalized ideas because that is ultimately what I think you're going to have to do in order to have a chance at being profitable with this product. Like I said before, this is going to cost you about $14 through the Printify app and that is if you have a Printify premium account, which means we're likely going to have to sell this six pack of golf balls up over $30 in order to actually make any real profit with it, which means we're going to have to come up with a really cool idea that is something to do with personalization. So let me know down in the comments what you think of my eight business ideas. And if you have any ideas of your own, make sure to drop those down there below. But of course, if you don't want to share them with the world, you don't have to. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.